um, I, I think because the nature of the pandemic, um, it certainly hit our small business community uh, very hard, and it certainly hit our hospitality uh, efforts and, and all of that in terms of lodging and visitor expenditure and everything that uh, that we see in that regard. But, but I think developers found an opportunity to keep moving and keep those projects rolling, which I think will really help us when it comes time uh, to pull out of this and, and see a, a good recovery. What are the most popular areas for growth? Uh, once again, is it downtown university? Are there other areas that are getting a lot of attraction? So I think we have seen a lot happening in downtown. And when you look at even just the residential units being added, there's over a thousand units under construction right now. And a lot of that is about to reopen. So with all of that, that keeps uh, a vibrancy downtown that I, I really do hope that will even support that economic recovery that our downtown merchants have, have suffered through. We've spoken to developers in the past and people who are getting things built and they were saying, uh, even though we've had COVID for the past few months, it usually is a two to three year plan before construction actually begins. So many of the projects that we're seeing now had actually been approved uh, many months ago in some cases, right? That's the case, right? Development doesn't happen um, overnight. It takes a while and there's certain things that have to line up. Um, you know, we're fortunate in that regard with, with a variety of projects around the hospitality sector, but even just as recent as last week, um, we were able to approve a, an incentive for the renovation project at One South Church, um, and that's a $30 million renovation. And I think when you, when you look at that, to your point, developers are still not afraid even to come into the market with hospitality right now because they know that the timing of that for an opening uh, to maybe two years down the road would be just about right. And what about your impression moving forward? How do you think the city of Tucson is going to look in, let's say, the next 5, 10, 15 years? based on what's happening now? So I think it definitely um, is, it's almost like we have the pause button, right? We, we, we came to this halt for a little while uh, and we're gonna have to recover from that. We're gonna have to get uh, the uh, tourism activity back. We're going to have to uh, keep things moving, get the office environment um, in its new reality. We have to figure that out and, and see how that's gonna uh, grow and change as, as we move forward from this pandemic and, and think about the future, you know, what is, what is that we've learned from remote working and how that's going to change the office environment. Uh, so I think there's a few things to learn, which so to your point, maybe uh, it takes us a couple of years, two or three years to, um, to understand that and, and, and get comfortable with, with a new reality. Barbara Coffey, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, thanks for having me.